You make sounds like you're a mean little ass kicker. Only I ain't convinced. You keep talking, I'm gonna take your head off. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Jason and welcome back to Backtrack Cinema. In this movie review, we'll be looking at Mr. Majestic, a Charles Bronson classic from 1974. So get your popcorn, get your drinks, and let's talk Mr. Majestic. Mr. Majestic was released in 1974, directed by Richard Flesher, and starring Charles Bronson, Linda Crystal, and Al Letary. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. You are watching Backtrack Cinema. My name is Jason, and welcome to the review of a Charles Bronson classic, Mr. Majestic. We're going to be taking a look at this one, guys. This is a, another great Charles Bronson film, I think. I think it gets overshadowed a lot by Death Wish, and for for the biggest reason is Death Wish and Mr. Majestic in 1974 were released within a week of each other. So Death Wish definitely overshadowed this movie, and it seems like this movie got swept under the rug a bit. But it's a good one. If you like Charles Bronson and you like the, that tough guy image and his tough guy persona, we're not going into deep themes or deep story here, but it's a great little gritty 70s action film so mr majestic tells the story of a simple melon farmer who battles organized crime and a hitman who wants to kill him mr majestic is a film that follows you know that one man you know that lone man standing against the system and there were a few movies before that we got movies like billy jack and we got movies like walking tall that turned into its own series and even had a remake of you know a guy just standing up against the system the justice system and this is kind of the same way where Mr. Majestic just wants to pick his watermelons. He's a melon farmer. Then this local dude tries to stronghold him to hire his crew, but Mr. Majestic already has his own crew, so it threatens his workers, results in his confrontation, which sends him to jail. Then he gets involved in this breakout with this hitman. He's got to get his melons, get them picked so he can get paid. I really like the way Richard Flesher really handles the action in this one. This is the director with a lot of experience. He's been famous with uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea in the 50s. The Vikings with Kirk Douglas in the 50s. He went, went to do this. He did Conan the Destroyer. The action moves at a pretty good pace for a 70s film. Sometimes these 70s films can be slow to today's standards, but I found this one move pretty good. There's, there's two really big set pieces here for me. The first one is a little shootout that happens in the streets when Charles Bronson's in jail and they want to move this hitman to another prison. And this action set piece, you know, all the cops are coming in. It's, it's like cops and robbers, man. I mean, the cops are shooting, the bad guys are shooting, but it's very raw and visceral. It's like they put you in the street with all this craziness going on. And I just love the uh, the raw approach to everything. You know, you got to ignore the red paint, okay, for blood. The red paint for blood. It's the 70s, guys. Just look at how visceral the violence is. And ignore the kind of uh, the red paint effects on all that. It's a really good scene, man. Really good. And the other one is this huge chase at the end. His female friend, Nancy, who's who he hires to pick the watermelon. She's got all this experience and stuff. And they escape in an old Ford 1968 pickup truck from this mob hitman trying to get Charles Bronson. And it's a great chase scene, man. This Ford truck this goes through hell, man. It's doing Dukes of Hazard freaking jumps in it. You know, it it's, it's a great, great scene. And I just miss chases like this you don't see them like this anymore you don't see the real smoke and the real dirt getting kicked up real trucks flying over hills and just coming around corners and kicking up the dust like i said and rock and gravel and it's fantastic it's an absolutely excellent scene later in the 70s ford used this movie the movie clips or something like that to advertise the trucks of how tough they were so that's pretty cool there. That's But it's a fantastic scene, fantastic chase scene. And you get a good climax at the end where Charles Bronson doesn't wait around no more and he goes to take this mob hitman out and, you know, attacks them at this house kind of stuff. And it's good shootout at the end. Great stuff. This great action he directs and Richard Flesher directs in and handles it really well. I like the character of Mr. Majestic here. You know, he's a he's an ex-Vietnam guy, an ex-Army Ranger. You're not gonna intimidate Charles Bronson in this. Kid tries to stronghold him. Stay back, boy. I'm warning you. A mean little ass kicker like you need a gun. <laughs> It's a great little moment just to show that, you know, Charles Bronson can take care of himself. But 
puts him in jail. <laughs> but I like how, you know, he fights for his workers. You know, he's fair to his workers. I like when they're done picking the crop for the day and he goes, hey, like, who's kind of buying the beer? I thought we we're going up for a cold beer. He'd be like, he's a great boss, great guy to work for. He's got he's got some humor to him in this that I really liked. Like when he hires this girl, Nancy, as uh, to, to pick the watermelons, and everything. He's having a drink with her later on and she goes well if you wanted to sleep with me why don't you just say so and he goes i don't want to say so i want to do it i just love that good old charles bronson getting on with the ladies getting on with the ladies love it and a great use of wide shots in that end chase scene too like really great use of wide shots using you know really wide seeing the wide landscape and seeing the the vehicles chasing down and everything like that. realistic action too and things that at the time maybe we never seen before that we see all the time now like when Charles Bronson's loading his gun and he's in the, he's in the back of the pickup truck and he kicks the tailgate open and shoots a, a car and he shoots it once and the car flips over and crashes. And what I like about that realistic approach, you see an action movie now and you see someone shooting a, a car out or something like that. You never see them crash right away. So this was a real realistic approach where Charles Bronson shoots it once and the, the car flips over like like it probably would what really pushes mr majestic then what pushes the movie into that third act though is when they when the hitman comes to his farm threatens his workers he ruins his crop they shoot up his crop they're able they're able to salvage some but his lead hand his like his hardest worker that he's a family guy they end up breaking his legs and this really pushes mr majestic over because this was his lead hand you know, he cared for this. He said, like, this was more than a friend. This wasn't just someone I paid to work. He was a friend. And I love that. It just, it gives you more to care about Charles Bronson's character here. And I never look at watermelons the same. You know, I'll, know, I'll have a great new appreciation for watermelons. For what this guy has to go through just to get his crop picked, man. <laughs> This is a film guy that's what you expect out of Charles Bronson, right? And it was cool to see uh, the score was done by Charles Bernstein, who did A Nightmare on Elm Street years later, Cujo. And he's got a, it's a pretty good score. It's got that real kind of um, Mexican kind of melody to it. it it's got a, a repeating theme through the whole thing that I really suits the movie, suits the character, suits this kind of film. And I, yeah, Charles Bernstein does another one. Does a it, this is years and years earlier, way before Night Ran Elm Street, and it's it's a really good score. I really like the score to this. It it stands out. It stands out, and it's memorable. But yeah, guys, you got to give this film a go. I would give it a go if you love Charles Bronson. You're definitely gonna have a good time with this. We're not talking about deep deep plot or themes or anything. This is you know tough guy Charles Bronson taking on some hitman, taking on a hitman and some mob guys and, and doing what he does. But the action is really the great part of this film, is that action. The action's excellent in this. So I'm going to give Mr. Majestic a solid B. But what about you guys? What did you think of Mr. Majestic? Have you seen it? Have you not seen it? Let's have a good discussion in the comments about Mr. Majestic. And I'll post other related content right here. I've done all the Death Wish movies and a ranking. So if you like Charles Bronson, Click on some of the videos there. My name is Jason. You are watching Backtrack Cinema, and I will see you on the next video, and I will see you in the movie, man. Cheers.